Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my, I'm going to call it my fall favorites because I didn't do favorites for October, even though I had like favorites, I just didn't get around filming it. So this is going to be like October and November combined, so it's probably going to be a pretty long video. I think I'm going to do it two separate videos, I think I'm going to do a beauty one, I'm sorry I'm so out of breath, I just ran down the stairs. I think I'm going to do a beauty video, like all my beauty favorites, and then all of like my lifestyle favorites. So that's probably going to be coming at too soon. But this is going to be the beauty one. So I have a million products in front of me, so I'm just going to share them with you right now. So, ow. He's in my elbow. <laughs> so the first product I'm just going to get this out of the way is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I have literally talked about this so many times. I'm obsessed with it. It smells like chocolate. Um, I love all the matte browns. Sorry if I blind you. I love this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Sorry if I like talk in weird voices. I've been doing that a lot, and I don't realize I do it, so. But yeah, I've been loving this palette, like everything about it. It's just awesome. And yeah. So keeping on the subject with eyes, I'm going to put this in my favorites, even though I've only had it for like a day. <laughs> I'm literally obsessed with it. So what I have on my eyes right now, it's the MAC Pigment in... Rush Metal. I just did a tutorial with this. It should be up already. This is a very good pigment. It's limited. It was limited edition. I'm borrowing it from someone. That's the only reason why I know. And I heard that one that's very similar to this is Copper Sparkle. So I plan on purchasing that soon. Probably on Black Friday. But this video will probably be up after Black Friday. But you know what? Whatever. So yeah, this pigment is life. And it just... Like, it's so pretty. I love it. So yeah, that's a favorite. And then I have a ma mascara favorite this month. And it's the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom Mascara. And it's pink, which is awesome. Because that's like, I've just been loving the color pink lately, guys. You'll see, like, all of my products are pink. But the wand just looks like that. It's pretty standard. It's rubber bristles. It's a pretty dry formula, which I normally don't like in my mascaras. But... I didn't like this one when I first tried it. I was like, ew. <laughs> but I actually really like it now. Now that I've, like, used it a couple times and, like, you know, tested it out. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, I've been loving that mascara. I use that um, on my eyelashes today. I just knocked something over. Yeah, I've been using that on my eyelashes, and I love it. And then, two nail polish favorites, and they're both, like, little teeny bitty sizes. The one I got... Um, it was like a 100 point perk at Sephora, and it's the Formula X Nail Polish in A+, and it's this really pretty, like, berry color, and I think it's really pretty for the fall if you want to wear, like, a pink, but still want to keep in, like, the fall trends. I think this is a really good color, and it was free, so why the heck not, and it'll last you forever. And then the other one, I found this at, like, this random bin in Target, and it was, like, $5, or maybe it was cheaper than that. But it's the Essie Nail Polish in Ignite the Night. That's hard to say. But it's this really pretty, like, silver, gold, and black shimmer, sparkle. <laughs> pretty sparkle color. And it's pretty, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not transparent. Not opaque. Sheer, I guess. So what I, I wore the, like, last week, and I put a black nail polish underneath it. But even if you put, like, a gray or something, like, I think that'll look really pretty. But it's really cool. And it's pretty easy to get off, too, so. Love that. And then, for blush, I have two blush favorites. And the first one is the Becca blush in Damselfly. I just love this blush. It's, like, a pretty terracotta color. It's got a little, little bit of shimmer. But I, it's not, like, insane or anything. And I just love wearing this blush whenever... I, like, have, like, a dramatic look going on either with, like, my lips or my eyes or something. With either my lips or my eyes and, like, I don't want to add more color to my face. I just want to add, like, a little flush. That's, like, the perfect color for it. And I've had that forever, but I've just been obsessed with it. And then the other blush that I've been obsessed with, which is what I have on today, is the Balm in Stain Blush in Argyle. And it's just this really pretty pink color. It's matte and... It's right there. Like, that's... Like, you can see this one has, like, a lot more orange tones, and that one's more pink. But 
I think this is really flattering on fair skin tones because it gives you like a little bit of a flush and it's not too like in your face but like it's still really pretty and these blushes have like insane staying power and I want to get more but yeah been loving that and then for highlighters I have three highlight favorites are you really surprised probably not <laughs> the first one is Becca Moonstone I've talked about this 20 million times I'll swatch it and it's right there and I'm obsessed with it that one I like when I want more of an intense highlight but not like a darker highlight like when I want it to be more pale if that makes sense and like this one which is the Mary Luminizer by the Balm I like when I want a more intense highlight but like more of a champagne tone like that one's more of like a white tone and this one's more of a champagne like, you could see the difference. Or at least I can see the difference. So, this one is Mary Luminizer, and this one is Becca Moonstone. There's, like, a very slight difference, but... the This one is more golden-y. And then my last one is the Hourglass Luminous Light... Um, what are these called? Ambient Lighting Powders? I have this forever. And I love it for, like, a subtle highlight. And you would never think I'd like a subtle highlight. But I really do. It's like, it's perfect for like no makeup days. It's right here. I don't know if you could see it or not, but that's where it is. And then my next favorite is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. This stuff is literally amazing. It's from the drugstore, so it's super cheap. It has amazing coverage and like it has awesome staying power. Like I wear this all the time and like I like I wear it to school all the time and I dance in school. So I'm a sweaty mess every single day and it stays on through my disgusting sweat. So this stuff is awesome and it's little partner in crime is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. Which is just like a little setting powder and I have been like these two together. It's like the dream team like I'm obsessed. And I was looking for a new powder because the ones I've been using like weren't keeping me matte enough because I've been so oily lately. So that one has been working out real well. So now we're like zipping through this thing, man. It's probably because I'm talking really fast. I have a million lipsticks and lippies. So I'm going to do all the pinks first because I have been loving pink lipsticks. My first favorite is the NYX, I think they're called like the round case lipsticks. And this is in the shade 509. And this is a really pretty, like, blue toned pink. And I normally don't think these look really good on me. But this one is like kind of intense. So what I like to do with it is put the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee over the top of it. So that's what it looks like by itself. And then when you put the um, lip gloss over it, it like tones it down a little bit. Hold on, I'll swatch it for you with the lip gloss over it. I don't know, it just tones it down. Or at least I think it does. It makes it less bright because it's like a really like neon color. Yeah. You can totally see the difference. Okay, so this is it by itself, and this is it with the lip gloss over it. And I love wearing this one to school, even though it's like kind of high maintenance, and I don't like wearing high maintenance lip colors to school. I've been loving that one, and I have been like lusting over this lipstick forever, and I finally got it. So now the Revlon Color Burst Lacquer Balm in the shade. These are so hard to read. Coquette. And this, I don't like, I didn't like these lacquer bombs when I tried them, but this one is so pretty. It has like a little bit of glitter in it. It's a darker pink, which I like. And my friend picked this out for me, so shout out to you. You know who you are. But it's this one right here. And it's a little bit of a darker pink. It has like a little bit of a sheen to it. It actually has like a little specks of glitter, but they're not like that noticeable. But I really like it. And that one I've been wearing a lot. So it's right there. I just, yeah. And then the other one, I've had this literally forever. But it's just like the Revlon Just Bit in Kissable Balm Stains. It's like one of those. And this is in the shade Cherish. And then it says Devotion under it. So it's a number 15. And 
This I've literally had forever. But it's so pretty and it's like really subtle. And this is definitely more of a blue toned pink than the next one. But this is really awkward swatch. It's right here. Like this is the next one and this is this one. And I think this one's a little bit more wearable. But if you, like I said, if you put the lip gloss over the next one, it's fine. And then the last pink lip product that I have been loving is the Tarte Whimsy. I think these are like the Amazonian clay lipsticks. Glamazon Pure Performance Lipsticks. And I actually gave this to my mom because I like had stopped wearing it for a while because I thought it was too much. And then I've been into pink lips again, so I started wearing it again. And these things literally last all day. Like I don't have to touch them up, which is why I love it so much and I want to get more of them. But that's that right there. And it's so pretty. So I have just been loving pink lips lately, which is kind of ironic since like everyone in my school... And, like, usually in the fall, I, like, love dark lip colors, but I don't know. The pink ones have just been calling my name. And then the last three lip products were down to... And they're, like, the last three products for this video, so cool. But the last three lip products, two of them... Actually, they're all from Maybelline. Well, I didn't do that on purpose. But two of them are the new matte lipsticks. And the first one that I actually bought was Siren and Scarlet, and this is the most beautiful, like, red color ever. It's a little bit of a deeper red, and it actually has, like, some dark lipstick on it, because I wore it with, like, my MAC Cyber, because those look really pretty together. Or maybe I wore it with Rebel, I don't remember. But this is, like, their prettiest, like, dark red color, and it's moisturizing, but that's it right there. And I love these matte lipsticks. I want all of them. And I'm slowly building my collection. And then the other one I have is Touch of Spice, which is what everybody and their mom loves from this collection. And it's like a Kylie Jenner lip color. And it's actually what I have on my lips right now. But that's it right there. And then over top of it, I have the Maybelline Color Elixir and Caramel Infused. I'm losing my voice. But I'm just going to swatch this next to it, and I really like this lip combo. So, yay. So, that's that right there. And I just been loving, like, these are my dark lip colors of the, the two months of the season, I should say. But yeah, I've been loving those, and I think that's everything. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And I will, all my links are in the bottom bar, like all my social media stuff. It's going to be in the bottom bar. I'll try to link everything down below if I remember to. But yeah, um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.